It is a Rhineland city synonymous with carnival at the start of each year. Welcome to the great city of Cologne. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Köln, and they take on Fortuna Düsseldorf. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. So the starting 11 for Köln. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And here's the starting 11 for Fortuna Dusseldorf. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. Confrontation is underway. It's with Jonas Hector. Oot with it. Cordoba. Hector. Will he play it in? Attending to his defensive chores. Kenan Karaman, Berisha, Florian Kainz, now it's Kainz, Mark Uth, Kainz, looking away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, I love looking at replays. You get to see the goal in all its glory. Just look at this. Perfect header. What a goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Opening goal of the game, then. Baron Berisha. Gieselmann. Now the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. Now it's Kainz. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Possession changes hands, the interception there. What can he do from here? Good visualisation and execution. Increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, Derek, the cross is great, but just look how he tacks the space. Gives the defenders no chance. Great goal. And the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, 
a second goal for them here. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Cordoba. Mark Oot. Mark Oot! It looked as though he was in, but credit to the defender, Lee. Yeah, he hustled him, made his hurry shot there. Trying to get right into his face. Hoffman. Kieselman. Kanan Karaman. Berisha. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Firing is in. And he got to it fairly easily. Man. Adams has it. Khan Ihan. Matthias Zimmermann. Kevin Stöger. Berisha. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. He has plenty of support. He's given it straight to the opposition. A easy boy. Florian Kainz. Skiri. Now it's Kainz. The cross is on. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Elias Skiri. Kainz. Tremendous block. Skiri. Cogdoba. A easy boy. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Kane, a beautifully disguised ball. Not to be this time. And with that, the first half draws to a close. We're focusing on him for a reason. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders, Lee. Well, they've really struggled to keep him under wraps today. It's simple. His movement really causes defenders problems, and he's done that again today. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. They've given it away. Mark Oot. It's with Jonas Hector. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Morales. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And putting his body on the line. Well, he found himself in an illegal position, hence offside. Well, a silly mistake there, really silly. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in... And he's made headway. It's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Khan Ihan Berisha. Given away. Foul, it most certainly was. Free kick given. Mm -hmm. 
substitution time it is. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Morales. And that was a very fine read. Elias Skiri. Mark Oot. Passing it with a bit of panache. Will he play it in? Is it going to be? The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Well, it seemed like just a matter of time before they scored. Delicate, incisive play has done the damage. Well, let's have another view of that goal. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. And Puma inside the last quarter of an hour. Losing possession here. Dangerous looking attack. And showing fine vision. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. It's been squandered. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. to go it's with Jonas Hector Oot with it Schmitz teammates could potentially join in and the cross goes in well the clearance half-hearted and he's made it a brace for himself the defenders just unable to stay with him and he's having a field day Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. If there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Khan Ihan. Real danger. And the cross into the middle. No nonsense clearance. Zimmerman, crossing opportunity. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. But he's gone short with it. And the referee blows for full time. 